rooftops and rocket fuel. And I would encourage nobody on Jesus Christ planet to do what I did. And I'll tell you more about that later. The number one reason to believe in Jesus Christ is because he has spiritual power and authority over angels. And y'all were born with two angels when you were born, so try to stay with him and try to stay with Jesus and get closer to him if and when you can. And then we're part of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There you go. And it's about believing in your dreams. As a child, I wanted to be a pilot, and the Lord said no, because I committed one of my sins against my sister. It was way out in a big ass large field, and my sister was running, and uh, I have some <clears throat> spiritual stuff inside of me still that I did when I was young. And I don't like using the words, but I have a lot of, in my family blood, I have a lot of history of professional assassins or killers. The word murderer is not a nice word. Or did you kill in his name and you'll be forgiven and everything. Yeah, but anyhow, it's kind of like what I just did there. A foreigner walked by and I stepped out of the way. I let go of my satanic installations from childhood and let go of my pride. So you all do that and pray that your dreams can come true. Long story short, like I said, I was praying to the Lord and asking him, can I please be a pilot? He said no. So I took a rock from the edge of the field that I was standing on and threw it about a football field and a half, two and a half, yeah, correction, probably two and a half football fields and the rock hit my sister in the back of the head. The reason why I did that is because when you love somebody, Sometimes you have to hurt them to make them do the right thing, and she was headed the wrong way. So in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of the sweet, pure, and holy Jesus Christ, and I'm probably the only one in the world who is allowed to say, sweet baby Jesus, that's what happened. And I asked him if I could be a singer, and he let me become a singer. <laughs> so, if you see... Birds fly by. <laughs> I really don't need to add this into the video that I'm doing, but one of y'all is going to get something out of this. I'm going to lay down a, 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 a George Thorogood strong spiritual sentence, and I used to <clears throat> I used to sing as much as I could, and I still stayed with the Lord and Spirit of flying like a bird. And the reason why I'm saying this sentence out of order is so me and you get something out of it in the name of you know who. <clears throat> Long story short, I grew up spiritual and I stayed spiritual and I'm still staying on that path. So the three stories that I'm not authorized to tell you go like this. <clears throat> After I threw the rock at my sister... I didn't feel bad about it. Like I said, when you love somebody, you hurt them, so you make them do the right thing. When that rock hit her in the back of the head, she had to return to me. And that's what Jesus Christ preaches about loving your friends and your enemies. That's why the Lord would not let me become an Air Force pilot the way I wanted to. I became an Air Force pilot the way he wanted to, and I became a singer the way he wanted to. And I did not request being born a king of rock and roll. That is exactly spiritually what happened. So, in the name of Jesus, for you satanic worshipers, I know you motherfuckers are going to get something out of this. If you want to worship Satan, go ahead and do it. I'm going to tell you the three major lies of Satan. And you need to get the motherfucking quickest possible out of your spiritual sickness, satanic installation, spiritual path. That your pride says that he installed in you when you were a child. 
that you're doing the right thing. So you continue to worship Satan, but guess what? He's going to let you do what you need to do. The reason why I use need is because you stupid, satanic, installated, installed, stupid, satanic, worshiping, motherfucking, sorry-ass losers don't even know that your pride is hurting you. And that's why Satan lets you do what you do. So if you try to believe in something that you believe in, let's say light or a candle, then you're breaking the mind and spiritual sickness of Satan and you can start believing in Jesus Christ. Why? Because you know that Jesus Christ existed. You know that he's not a sorry ass loser motherfucker like Satan. You know that Jesus was, is, and always will be King of Kings and Lord of the Lords. And if you don't like that, then you can try to pretend that you're not a Satan worshiper and that you think he's a Lord of Lord because he's not. He's the motherfucking most sorriest ass motherfucking sick ass. You know, I want to stop right there and be possible to tell you the truth about what Satan did up in heaven. Satan was created by you know who. And he had a little bit of angel spiritual, not even used a power word or authority word. What he did was Satan was Lucifer. And he had pride inside of him, and the Lord let him have free will. So inside, when he went to band practice, he thought he was going to overtake the Lord. Why? Because the Lord would not let him play the third string and the third fret. That's the devil's chord. I'm going to explain all of that later to you Satan worshipers and you Jesus Christ believers and anybody else who wants to learn the truth about Satan. He wanted to be a woman, a female. That's right. Get it right. That's what happened. Satan wanted to be a female, and it didn't happen. So when he had spiritual band practice, he kept playing, and he didn't know why he couldn't play the devil's chord. Because the Lord knew he was going to try to overthrow him. And guess what? Y'all need to know this. Y'all need to grab yourself down below and fasten your seatbelts. He tried to overtake the Lord, and two angels didn't let him. And that's why you guys, 